Yes, it's me, Mark Evander here again today, reporting from Corridor News Network. Well, let me tell you something. There was a headline that screamed at me here so recently, derelict vehicles in nuisance. And it said that derelict vehicles continue to be a nuisance to some residents in a number of Bajan communities. I just wonder about that sometimes. You drive down certain roads and you can barely pass. Motor cars up on blocks, motor cars up on rocks. Along by the road, not by the body property, but don't talk about the ones that got the bunny grass and the property. Oh my goodness. I wonder sometimes how it is that these things has to be allowed to happen. Does get to the point where they fester and fester and become worse and worse, eh? How much oil iron you going to invest in? Now I know that in certain parts of the world, including in the United States of America, I'm Trinidad and Tobago, if you go down with the bamboo, eh? You can get used parts. Fellas has got the used parts, has take apart the cars and they got everything labeled and think properly. When you go into the, the, you know, the, the chop shops in America, they got them set up like that too as well. And it organized. And in fact, they got it on layers going up in the air and so on. But everybody know where everything is. And you go in here, come buy everything from a muffler back to an engine. But we've been grappling with this problem for a long, long time. Mm? And it seems like every time the authorities clear it out, SSA come and they clear it out. It's like, we can start all over again, yes, and create another set of oil cars for when it to come and move. You see, you got to now got some, some, some penalties and things that make people understand that you ain't really encouraging it. It's the same thing like beach cleanups. How many times you going to clean the beach? It don't make no sense cleaning the beach if then people can come and do the same foolishness all over again. And that is exactly why market vendor is not in favor of the beach cleanup. And plus, they got, they got workers from National Conservation, whose job I believe it is to go and clean up beaches. So I don't really want to put any of them out of work or give them a lack of exercise when the day come. <laughs> I want them to have the rake and the shovel in the hand. Hmm? So I'm not into that. Plus, I want to get the sunburn night like and blister or nothing so. But last time I know measly, it's a little porpery today too as well. I saw a picture in the daily newspaper, huh? On the back page, nice color photograph, showing a man installing additional security cameras at the Wildy branch of a bank that had an attempted robbery just a couple of weeks ago. No market, it's not a scratch market head and all of it. What we had though? You really feel that that bank want to get a photograph of where their cameras are? For the thieves to know where they are? Well, that don't make no sense to me. Why are we highlighting that? Hmm? Oh, my goodness gracious. That make no sense. That's supposed to be something that, you know, nobody ain't quite sure where they are. You might even got a couple of dummy cameras in place too as well. Why would we be highlighting, hmm? especially after what the bank staff went through? Hmm? Being terrorized with a man coming in there firing shots like if he's Rambo. Well, he can't be Rambo because him and I say he get nothing. Huh? But my goodness gracious, it don't make no sense to market vendor. Why would we be highlighting where the cameras are being put? Huh? For somebody to come down and put spray paint over because he's watching up movies and things, you know? No, no, no. That's not something I believe that we should have put in the paper at all, at all, at all. I'm only a market vendor, and I express in my views from the Corridor News Network. I go on for now. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. Yeah? <laughs>